Welcome back to Part 6 TV with Montana B. This is a love twin flame soul reading for you Pisces. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, wherever Pisces may fall in your chart or in your environment. I'm like, what is this in my nail? I was making candles. Sorry about that. If you are new to the channel, feel free to take a look around. A lot of information in the description box. And of course, I love the community board. So check it out and see why. All right. Uh, keep in mind, tarot is entertainment. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check out some of my other videos in the playlist as well as other aspects of your chart. It may resonate, may not, and feel free to change the roles in the reading. As we get started, this love reading may differ from the love readings previously posted because I'm setting the intention for the soul, you know? So, I don't know if you're with this person, without them, meeting them in the future. Your energy, okay, about this situation, whatever may be on your mind, all right? We are going to do the current energy, the challenge, and then outcome and advice. I am going to be using a, a number of cards. I'm starting with the Numinous uh, Tarot. So, we have the first card, which is the current situation. What is the challenging aspect of that? And then here we have the outcome. Possibility. Okay, it's a lot. All right, fine. I always do that. If it's a lot, I'm going to take them. Okay. All right. Mars and Venus doing their things in different places. So let's start. What does she have there? Well, first card out, we have the moon. Pisces, I mean, at least it's your energy, maybe even your moon sign. Instincts, gut reactions, comfort, home, family, conditioning, habits, femininity, lineage, privacy, embodiment, emotions, moods, self-soothing, and mother. The square. That is so funny. Didn't I say the challenge <laughs> is the challenge? Okay, so we have... The square. Is the moon squaring another aspect in your chart? In the environment? Whatever it is, it, it creates a little tension. It may stall some things, okay? Or sound the alarm, all right? So, motivates pressures. Do you see these? It's like, and today was our catch-22 day, right? As the 22nd. So, stalling is one thing. Sounding the alarm is a whole nother. Motivating is one thing, but pressuring into, okay, frustrates, demands, struggles, hurts, works out, reconciles. See what I'm saying? That's going to be interesting. And then here, possible outcomes and advice. When I saw surrender, I was like, okay, we have 12th house. Isn't that you, Pisces? Subconscious mind, compassion, dreams, karma, forgiveness, baggage, a trans state. The Unseen, Healing, Spiritual Development, Guilt, Prayer, Akashic Records. We also have Jupiter. So where Neptune is doing something, something in Pisces, we have Jupiter. What is Jupiter in right now? Gosh, it's because it's going to be there. Or it was there for, what was it in? I have to look at it. Jupiter was in something for the longest up to like December. And now it's kind of doing something else. I'm going to take a look. But as far as the Oracle cards, we have expansion. The Wheel of Fortune. We got the dice. Okay. The rainbow. Just a bunch going on here. Even the clouds. Enthusiasm. Optimism. Generosity. Benevolence. Belief. Luck. Travel. Positivity. Lectures. Foreign culturals. Teaching. Chance, expansion, leaping, exploration, and potential. Then we have the 10th house. All right. Wherever the 10th house may fall in your chart, we have career, responsibilities, achievement, competence, fame, notoriety, standing, authority figures. This sounds so much like the transits that we have been reading and discussing in the daily vibes so feel free to check them out and i'm not trying to sell you on anything but if you haven't subscribed a benefit to do so is so you don't miss any of those readings all right 
Um, but legacy, purpose, pentacle, the the patriarchy, emperor, empire. So where we have the feminine energy or feelings, we have the reputation and empire here. So I feel we're going to pull a couple of tarot cards to take us into this reading. And see, it's like the mood even changed. I was thinking it was going to be so sad or whatever. So that's what I have for love. And before we get into the twin flame, let's just talk about your soul. Here are the twin flame uh, oracle, oracle tarot cards. I'm going to sit those there. Okay. Because that just took me through the motion. I like the advice and outcome. I really do. Because with the moon, I was like, okay. With the square, it was like all necessary. And with the outcome, you know, it's like three is a charm. So something's very charming coming um in the end or whatever whatever threes mean for you okay removing blocks limited beliefs feeling left out in the cold don't we have the eight of wands came up in the love reading i think that was the love reading at the bottom of the deck i'm looking at the six of wands with the um high priestess so it's kind of like not being tricked by your emotions not being pulled down by them uh, but better yet, you know, using it as a gift, using your gifts, your abilities as the water. Some of you guys, this could be communicating feelings because we have action and then the moon is, you know, the word under moon says feelings. So there could be some communication about the feelings. For some of you, I'm coming into recognition, recognition, re recognition. I'm giving you recognition or coming into recognition about this um you know situation and then here we have the high priestess so i'm thinking it may be a soulmate okay others of us i saw the four of pentacles and so it's kind of like holding on to the past with this ace of uh ace of so king of swords feeling unwanted left alone you know uh stubbornness needing more gratitude all right, and doing the work, learning the lesson. So is this the next card or is this just like my spiel off? Okay, because I'm looking at the Ten of Wands and it's like we come in with the Eight of Wands. We were taking action. We're almost there. And then the challenge is like wrapping it up or moving on for some of us. But let's shuffle to to get a card specifically for the square. It's not denying it. I'm just like, okay, we need what's the challenge? And it's like, shit, the challenge is the challenge. All right. So let's see. All right. We got the five of cups. The five of cups is looking at the three cups. So we're looking at one side of things. Something could have been one sided. I do see the sun. I do see the eight of cups. I do see the ten of cups. So it's kind of like if we can get out of the five of cup energy and out of the feelings. The challenge may be the feelings because this is a five. You have the square card in a challenging position. You have the five of cups in the challenge and still there's this energy of completion okay or not being in the moment i kind of feel because we saw the king of swords which i feel the king of swords talks about planning if not planning it's just patience all right and the king of swords is not really an emotional person um or an emotional characteristic okay so 10 cups 10 wands five cups eight cups and then the sun card is here it's like wanting you to be happier because you've healed but are we like scratching old wounds okay is there something about the past that's not making us feel too good and we have stability we have the emperor yeah i should have known with this tent house and empire we also have aries okay a lot of energy about aries and where chiron is in aries right now there could be some expansion and some gifts coming to you in the future pisces with this 12th house so let me take one card for jupiter i got the lovers okay i'll take it i see the lovers but for jupiter i do have the reward i have the six of wands here okay and i think the emperor is going to be proud i don't know this these two cards right here i wonder if you can see them but uh these two cards here it's just like it, just imagine how the royal court what is it royal court or the king or the queen they sit in their seats and like somebody's performing or entertaining and they're pleased so even if this is you know i don't know whoever the emperor represents 
there's this feeling of pleasure or being pleased i don't know where that came from but that's what i get um the 12th house pisces let's see what we got for that card since there was oh okay i got two cups i also got the pentacle I think I have victory for the King of Swords. So planning toward uh, stability, you know, patience, planning, you know, focus, uh, your purpose, a commitment, the two cups. It's like, which do I take? All of it? For some of you, it may be different. You have commitment. Maybe if you're in a relationship, harmony and balance in a relationship or not, I don't know. And then here, you see what I'm saying? It's just a difference. Where the emperor is pleased and content with what is what is being given. And here is a, a conflict or a battle. <laughs> I'm so silly. It just reminds me of, like I said, something pleasurable uh, with the six of wands and the emperor. And like sticking to tarot, like I said, it could be stability, awareness, reward. Uh, something given or a gift expansion from Jupiter. But if I were just like watching TV or what kind of crowd I was into... The Emperor and the Six of Wands is just like a, a different, I'll say different, that's no better or worse, but it's a different energy from this King of Cups watching these uh, Five Wands, right? You see what I'm saying? Like, how does that look to you guys? Where this is like just a bunch of, you know, like my head is high, the Six of Wands, you know, it's his parade and the emperor's there, you know, and it's just like all good. I feel like everybody's okay. The person on the horse is getting what they want. The emperor doesn't seem to be uneased, you know. But here, it's like the king of cups is watching this five of wands. Um, so I have the others. And then when I'm seeing this five with the king of cups, it's kind of like control, possessiveness. Like the challenges of the king of cups would be to remove one's fears and and you know to to learn contentment to have contentment and happiness with self and not with things outside of self i don't know whatever whoever that's for right so now for my twin flames whether you're in separation or not when it comes to feelings and these eight wands okay we're going to take one card for each i'm going to try to just do one card and one card okay um even for the, the advice it's a lot of advice being given or multiple outcomes depending on what it is that you want our relationship was different and special other people didn't understand it okay that makes sense something they wish they may um have been able to take back something they possibly said okay it was wrong to take my frustration out on you for the second card which came out very hard somebody wasn't honest about those feelings so that eight of wands and discussing my feelings could be for somebody okay and that frustration could have came from you pisces it was like you knew what it was supposed to be and they didn't so it was like wow could have been i could i couldn't handle my tr I, that makes sense i couldn't handle my true feelings for you so i kept you as a friend and nothing more they missed an opportunity or you could have felt that it was a missed opportunity. Not sure. But whatever this is in the challenging aspect, honesty um, and not handling the, uh, the feelings or either friendship could have been a thing. For the outcome and advice, okay, I have, I, che I cheated you out. I saw I was cheated. I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. Your silence feels safer to me. I don't want to hurt again. I can feel that because some situations, especially when there's ghosting involved and then you get into your power, Pisces, your stability, your success, your platforms, the relationship you want, contentment with nothing, whatever. It's kind of like, don't say nothing to me. Uh-uh. Don't say nothing to me, baby, because I'm good and I want to stay good. So that's cool. Um, and then others of you may not understand why you you may be still kind of fishing for a closure. So I said I was only going to do one. Two came out. The last one says I want to contact our mutual friends about you. Okay, so I don't know who that's for, but it could be for someone. All right, especially with that, this it's some silence, and it's like I can't find you, but I may find somebody who know you, right? So be mindful of that in this Mercury retrograde. 
and all that kind of stuff. All right. That's what I got. Until next time, Pisces. Namaste.